Hi guys, um, I'm back. I wanted to make another video um, within my uh, breastfeeding edition or breastfeeding series of videos. Um, I would like to give my honest opinion on Freemi Pump. I've been using it for over six months. My daughter is turning one year old um, in a couple of weeks. And this is my second breastfed baby. With my first one, I used Medela. Um, I didn't really know much about breastfeeding. I was the first uh, person in my family to breastfeed. Um, I didn't really have any guidance. I just went by what the Baby Zyralis um, uh, little uh, magazine told me there was. So I took it. So with my first one, I used Medela. And with the second one, I really wanted to have a um, little bit of freedom. So um, let's go, I guess let's go into the pros. So a list of pros for me is that this pump is very easy to operate and it comes with pieces that are fairly large. So if you see the actual collection cup, it, each collection cup is four pieces. So... One, two, you have this piece, and this is the smallest piece that comes with it. And you can tell it's pretty, it's pretty large. Um, the Medela horn system, as I call it. Uh, let me see if I could pull it up. Comes with a series of very tiny parts, and it's easier to lose them. Um, they get messed up, um, what else? It, it's hard to figure out which part comes apart, which part does not come apart. So that's one thing that I like about Freemie is that it's very simple to use. So in order to assemble the Medela uh, collection cup is you take this syringe or I guess uh, this thing right here. Excuse my manicure. I'm a mom of two and I work. But um, anyways. And take this piece. You connect it here. You make sure that this narrow piece connects where this other tiny opening is. And then you're going to have this larger opening on the bottom. So you connect it. You're going you're gonna to feel it, it kind of clicks in. And this part right here, this part right here will align. So then you take this little um, plastic type of thing, or not plastic, this rubber type of thing. And you're going to make sure you assemble it in a way that um, this narrow part, see, this narrow part. The narrow part is, or I guess the white part is going to go sideways and the narrow part is going to be on the side. So if I look at it this way, you see it's um, wide. Here it's narrow. And then the last piece is, you take this collection cup, this, the actual cup part of it, and you align this little opening here with this other tiny opening so you kind of make sure that it's all it all aligns this is where the tube is gonna go so is the freemie pump uh, freemie pump so this is an assembled collection cup one thing that I do like about it is you really can pump with your clothes on um, in the beginning when I first got it I was a little bit disappointed because my expectations were really high I thought, oh my gosh, this is re revolutionary. I'm going to get this pump and it's going to take the whole feeling of pumping out of pumping, which is not really the case. I think this pump is really designed more to make the pumping um, more friendly and it, it's just easier on the mind because if you have your own office, you could keep your clothes on, uh, you could continue working. 
You don't have to worry about somebody walking in on you. Even if they're going to walk in on you, you have your shirt on. It's not like you have your bra exposed, you have these horns sticking out, or you're holding these medulla horns to your breast. So, that's the thing that I like about it. Um, I also like the fact that when um, you get these collection cups, they come with two different uh, openings. So the one that I use is 28 millimeters, which is a size up from the, the size that I would normally use for the medulla. And I like that. It, it, the more narrow one, I think, is 25 millimeters. So I'm usually 25 millimeters in the medulla pump. For Framie, I am 28 millimeters. And I like it because it pinches less. And um, you don't get that sore feeling after you're done pumping. So um, the con thing, or the thing that I don't like about this pump, or at least about the collection cups, is that especially in the beginning, you don't really know how much you're collecting. And they did add these little things. I don't know if you could tell. These little things that are supposed to be markers. That should let you know, like, this one is a 4 ounce, 2 ounces, 6 ounces, 8 ounces. And there's also another marker here if you put it flat. So it gives you how many ounces you have in there. It's great that they added it, but it's really useless because, first of all, it's white on white. The milk is white. You can't really tell how much you really pump because the milk just covers, you know, I can't even, it's hard to see these markings even w without any milk and especially when I have it in my bra I cannot tell how much there is there it's nice when I take it out and I put it flat it, it will tell me like okay I have two ounces four ounces six ounces but other than that I find it kind of useless um, and over time I kind of just you know especially at work you know you have 15 20 minutes to pump and as much as you pump you pumped um, if you have your own office, you can sit there for half an hour, 40 minutes pumping if you would like to. But at the end of the day, if you, you know, at least for me, uh, I can't really, I, I, I really don't care about the measurements. Is What I care about is at the end of my work day, how many ounces do I have? Do I have enough to feed my child the next day? So that's, that takes care of one thing. Um, let's see what else. So I like the fact that it's large par parts. Um, don't pinch as much. Um, you could pump with clothes on. Also, another thing is that I see some women complaining is that uh, if you just get these um, collection cups, I think they're about $60. Some women were complaining about the cost of these. However, I personally think the cost is reasonable because... If you try to do a hands-free system with Medela or another pump, let's say, you have to get the pump, then you have to get a hands-free bra. Um, you know, it, it, it adds up. Sometimes you could get a bra itself that's $35, $40. And you're not just going to get one. You're not going to be wear you're not going to be wearing the same bra every single day. So, you have to get several of them. So this collection cup goes into your own bra, which will stretch out your bra. However, I find that after breastfeeding two children, no matter how careful you try to be, even if you use Medela, even if you're the most careful person, your bras are going to get messed up. Your bras are going to get stretched out. They're going to get discolored. They're going to get holes in them and whatnot because you are feeding your child, um, and you, you're feeding them often. Even if you're supplementing with formula, you're still, you know, either pulling the bra down or, or you're unhooking in the middle of the day and whatnot. So, um, getting these collection cups, you do save on, you know, getting these additional accessories because it just goes into your own old bra. So, okay, the next thing. I also like the fact that it is easy to operate. So if I move on to the actual um, machine here, I do like the fact that it's pretty much a two button system. You turn it on the back, right? And then you just control the um, strength of the suction. That's it, there are only two buttons. 
And as you can tell, it's very low sounding also. It sounds like a humidifier. Let me see if I can. See, it sounds like a humidifier. It does not sound like a pump. It does not, um, it is not obvious, uh, you know, let's say Medela. This would be the sound that you will get from a Medela, just a comparison. You see, the, the suction is very sharp. It's very obvious. It's kind of high-pitched. Um, it just sounds like you're attached to some sort of medical equipment that's either giving you a blood transfusion or something else. So it's very loud. Okay, I'll compare it again. Medela. Free me. So you could tell the sound is a little bit more, um, more calm, it's a little bit more monotone, it's just, for, for me personally, it sounds like a humidifier. Another great thing is that uh, Freemi is compatible with a number of pumps, and I just checked on the Freemi website, it seems like they're compatible with Medela, Amida, Hygeia, Lucina, Nuke, Philips Event, and Spectra at the moment. So they really are broadening their horizons and you could just get the suction cups and use it with another pump if you would like to. So, all right. Now really moving on to the cons, things that I don't like about Freemi or things that I think um, the, the company could improve on. And by the way, I did, I did purchase this Freemi pump myself. I did not get sponsored from anyone. I did not get it for free, so this is really an honest opinion for me. So cons. The number one thing that I noticed about this pump is that it's really hard to, to transport. This thing is a little bit, not too, man, too much, but it's a little bit bigger than Medela. You can tell Medela is a little bit more compact. And this thing is just bulky, it's round, it's, it's, it's just big. And weight-wise, I would say it's a little bit, um, it weighs a little bit more than the, this version of Medela that comes with your regular insurance. This is the Medela pump that comes with the insurance. So, it's bulky. Another thing that I've noticed is Freemi does not offer any travel accessories. So, let's say I understand that this pump is bulky, but it would have been great if there is some sort of a padded case maybe that you could purchase that would help you transport this pump without having to uh, bump into anything you know that that was a, the fear for me because I live in New York City taking public transportation to work I I would have to take this pump on the train every single day it gets really crowded people get um, cranky people shove they push and I was afraid that this pump was going to get damaged because, you know, taking it on public transportation every single day. So it would have been great if there's some sort of padded caddy, um, you know, some sort of padding or a little purse or something that you could put on this pump and you could just take it with you. Or maybe, I don't know, another bag, like the more expensive version of the Medela uh, pump. Another con... Uh, or thing that I don't like is that the Freemi pump is white, round, and bulky. It just looks like a piece of um, medical equipment. It's kind of obvious um, that it's, you know, even though it's pump, it looks like a medical equipment. Medela, on the other hand, um, it's more discreet. It's a little black pouch. It looks like a little lunch bag. Meanwhile, this thing is huge, and I would not feel comfortable leaving this thing on top of my desk um, at work. Like, I would want to hide it. So, again, a padded pouch would be great. Uh, another thing that I noticed, uh, uh, Freemi does not really offer any cleaning accessories. So, um, you're pretty much on your own trying to figure out how to clean this pump. Although you only really have to clean uh, this section right here that, that collects the, um, the breast milk, you do need to get, um, I believe it's Dr. Brown's cleaning things. Oh, give me one second. 
So you're going to see mine is a little bit disgusting because it's heavily used and I have to replace it. So I have to, I had to get this uh, Dr. Brown uh, cleaning thing because there is a section on this part where you would want to clean it. And this section is right here. I don't know if you could tell. Maybe on the back, back screen. You see this little screen right here. So I do like to use um, Dr. Brown, um, whatever this cleaning thing is. To clean this this little thing right here and there's also a little little section right here that it's kind of like bumpy so it's really hard to get in although it is fairly clean to eat to uh, fairly easy to clean you still need some sort of accessory some sort of little small part that you could get in there so that's another thing that I think they could offer or um, uh, improve on maybe tailoring up those little sections that um little grime and little dried up breast milk can get in there um yeah and i think this is the end of my honest review so overall um i love the fact that it really is hands-free i have tried chopping vegetables while i was breastfeeding and it was amazing it was great i was able to be in the kitchen i was able to interact with my family without you know being topless and without having to hold these cups um inside of my uh bra um i do like the fact that it is uh more gentle on the breast i like the fact that it is uh, easier to clean it, it's only four pieces for this collection cup and they're fairly large compared to medela um, things that I don't like is that there are no accessories to tr help transport this part right here um, I also don't like that uh, there are no uh, cleaning accessories either so I think medela could really improve on I mean sorry not medela free me could really improve on accessorizing their product um and hopefully in the future we'll see uh, a travel version of this because um when i was using this pump at work i had to leave this section at work i i just i had to leave it i couldn't transport it back and forth and then i had this this uh pump at my house um just as a backup another thing i would like to mention is i personally noticed i don't know maybe somebody could comment well, let me know if they had different experience in the beginning i was using this pump with these collection cups and i noticed that um for some reason i was not able to get as much milk out um as when i was using the collection cu collection cups with the free me pump um the collection cups i think they really are designed to be used with a free me pump and they're more efficient and they get the job done faster. With Medela, because you have to use, um, you know, uh, yeah, with Medela, I was able to get the milk out, but it was just, it was not as efficient. And I actually had to um, do an extra pumping se session when I got home here and there just to keep up my supply so that I had enough for my child to eat the next day. So, um, I think the next video I'll make, um, I would like to talk about how to clean this tubing, uh, the free me tubing, uh, in case you get water in there. I actually, uh, there is one neat trick that, uh, that free me has this section actually, uh, disconnects, but I'll show how to clean this part in case you get water backed up in there to make sure you don't get any fungus or anything funky growing in there. I hope this helped for somebody. It's really tough to, you know, breastfeed your child, to start from fresh, you know, start anew, try to go back to work, try to figure out, um, you know, what will work for you as a new mother or a mother of a, a newborn baby or an infant. Um, there are also mothers out there that exclusively pump. Um, I'm not an exclusive pumper. I just pump when I have to, like when I'm working or my child is in daycare. So, yes. Uh, or when I have to, when I want to do a, a, a freezer stash. So, yes. I hope it's helpful. Comment, like, subscribe. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.